Good morning and welcome to Hamlin 10. Hamlin 10 is pretty cool because it's on the top of the hill here. It's got a big lot. There's a semi-primitive outhouse right there and what's nice is that there's a flushy or flushing toilet right in the parking lot of the amphitheater which is a very short distance away. But uh, this is a bit of a unique cabin. It is electrified on Hamlin, only a handful of them are. And I'll tell you why in a minute. This has had some rebuilding done to it, but I believe the original structure is quite intact. This is probably an annual cabin. In other words, people could rent these cabins a year at a time. And when they did so, a lot of folks put additions on. That's why we have the double cabins that we do today. Mostly primitive cabins or primitive electric cabins with electricity. What was done to this cabin, probably by the people that were annual renters, were that they reconfigured the windows. So typically there is a single window in the front and this one there are two doubles but because the door is in the way they can only open up with the butterfly hinges there at the top of them as opposed to sliding. Same with the three on the side here so they've taken the two on the side ganged them up to have three for a peripheral view here and then they have two singles that open up in the back and then a single here on the other side so kind of unique. It also has a, an airtight wood burning stove. Looks like it might need a little chimney work there. And it, the, uh, you know, has a decent backing on it. Here the steel backing. As it's electric, it of course has a refrigerator. This has a gas stove. Typical cupboard, table and benches, and four cots. But like I said, this is up on the top of the hill here. That's much sought after. And the last but not least here, as you know these cabins have hip roofs on them and the back slants upwardly but in this one I believe when maybe they built the porch instead of keeping the hip on this they went with a gable end so it feels much bigger in here as a result of that roof not sloping inwardly and when they did that perhaps the park did that they also put on a, a full door so you don't scrape your head when you're six foot or better coming into the uh, cabin but uh, again, nice cabin, nice location, you know, centrally located here off of ASP3 on the Quaker side. It is a three season cabin and you can tell that uh, you're up on a hill here when those trees are foliated here. That blocks your neighbors out a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed today's tour of Brow 10. I'm so sorry, Hamlin 10. And you folks have a great Allegheny Day. It's the day after Thanksgiving 2016. Take care now.